Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Stormworks. I'm still busy with my SADF collection of all military vehicles used in the bush war, and maybe some present ones too, depending on how I feel. But yeah, I did build a throttle 20mm armored personnel carrier. Did not copy this from anyone else, I built it from scratch. Designed it and then executed. And personally, it does look the best on the Stormworks um, workshop. There's no one like it. Yeah, I'm very pleased with myself. Yeah, let's get into it. First off, there's no access to the engine room. We do have this, this little hatch here. But maybe I'll make this little engine you know, for like servicing if you get it damaged. You can repair it, but at the moment that's all you get. Get a hose, put some fuel in, and that's it. Nothing else. And it does have six wheel, oh, six wheel drive, so all six wheels are turning. They all on suspension. Radiator from the back. Actually, the, there's two. The first one is the one that's working. This is just to show. We have some little indicator lights back here. Those are actually portholes to shoot through, but in Stormworks, that's not possible. So I used what I had to use at the front. We have an electric connector to tow it. Rope anchors. Both sides. There are ropes. Need to close those. Just need to remember to close these, or else the doors might get a little bit glitchy. So when you're done driving, just make sure they're closed. They will open if you go around a corner too fast. Okay, so let's jump into it. At the back, or on the sides, I'll go through the back. Close it. Over here. The little viewport. It's actually supposed to be a gun back here, but you can add that if you want it. I'm not going to. But welding torches right here. Radio. Armor. Capacity for for eleven. Minus those two. There's four seats on each side. Ammo storage. Place for guns. First aid. Defibrillators. One more radio. Okay. These are actually they need to be um, ladders here, but Space inside here is like super cramped at the moment. So those are just for show. Can't even get in here. Oh yeah, you can't. Let's see, please. Got the ammo storage for the gun. Which I'll get into a moment. This machine gun ammo right here. This side. More ammo. This display here is for the gun. That magazine. Not that one. Just that one. Driver sheet. Radio. We'll get into the drive controls later. Okay, so this is a turret ring. How this works, I'm only gonna explain it once. This is for the gunner. It is a bit glitchy, but it works. First, you need to open the edges, both. This one. I'll put in like restrictions later, but you can only go about till years. Nothing more. 
or else it will glitch out maybe a little bit down. Now this is controlled. You can see on the control handle. A and D for the turret ring. W and H for the gun. Fire the space bar. And five is machine guns. spawn this vehicle to look like this you get in before you do anything else you press number three which is seat left you need to go underneath the monitor right there or else you can't go up and down go back you press four go in you press three you press one to go up till about maybe here that's for the commander can turn around. Fire. It is a little bit, which I think is maybe catching on that. But yeah, it looks actually pretty good. You reload, just put the ammo back in there, take it from the loader, put it right in there. Get out, it will return to its position. Somewhat, that's okay. Same goes for the commander. He doesn't have controls because it's just a normal seat. Sit here and back here. Play launcher. Only it's actually for smoke. Neutral drive. I1, 2, 3, and 4. As a performance mode, low towing mode right there. This is using a 454 SS microcontroller. Link will be in the description. You have engine temperature, radiator temperature, gas, RPS, free control the spacebar. There's spotlights the front, brake light at the back, yeah, that's the rotel 20 millimeter for it, hope you will like it, the searchlight is on the top, spotlights at the bottom, if you don't drive in the dark, I may need to connect these indicator right at the back but cheers as always thanks a lot for watching like and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video take care now bye bye